good, isn't it? Apart from the one horrendous note in the middle of it all, the right, remote's hey, still man. going. Still going. Now it's finished. Wow. Please like, subscribe. No, Thank you very much for watching. That's See like preset soon. number one. I haven't even done anything since preset even number it. one. That's preset number one. Straight right. out of the box. There we go. Categorically proving to guitar players around the world that reverb <laughs> is the single greatest guitar effect ever invented. I think it's definitely... Um, uh, but it's such a natural thing. It's so Because natural. it's everywhere around you, all of, everywhere you look. Which is actually brings us nicely onto this because that's what this yeah. is. Right? So, um, lovely guy, Loki. Is it Davidson? I think it's his name. Something like Loki. Loki. Anyway, best uh, name ever. Uh, from Down Under. Well, I say Down no, he's Under. Not, he's he's oh, from New now. Zealand. It's that's Down Under down as under. far as England is concerned, isn't it? It's oh, opposite yeah, but that's world. like saying Danish and Swedish <laughs> and they're all the same. They oh, are, no, yeah, I thought man. you were from Holland anyway. Yes, and you and the French, um, man. You're all the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> Last what? two or three years ago, we <laughs> met a smashing chap at the NAMM show who had this crazy box uh, called the Bebo or something like that. In fact, I think it was Josh Smith who said, you've got to come and hey, meet this yeah. guy. He's, he, he was yeah. using his... Um, Must be five years ago now. Is it five Four years? years. Oh, so we, haven't even, we haven't even been to the NAMM show for five years. Yeah. We, oh my before... God, where's the time go? Anyway, <laughs> so we meet this guy, crazy inventor, making um, these really slightly weird... Uh, ambient pedals and modulation pedals yeah. and last time we did a demo of his I must have made a throwaway comment in a video that he picked up on going wow these reverbs are amazing but I wish they were just in a simpler it's pedal. pretty it's pretty complicated his Bebo yes, boxes Bebo and the, uh, and the poly uh, I think is the other really, really lots of obscure routing uh, paths and things like way of stacking effects together anyway yeah. so one on screen now for you so um, Loki emailed us about a month ago, maybe even less than that, and said, you know, I, I've got this, I've, I've made the pedal, the simple reverb pedal. Now, I should say as well, what really drew us into his reverbs, and I think there's a comical moment where I refer to them as convalescence <laughs> reverbs, which obviously is not the correct term. Yeah, so these are, we're all familiar with IRs, you know, where people take, you know, real acoustic snapshots of uh, speaker cabinets mm -hmm. and then apply them to guitar amp sounds to, to make mm -hmm. recorded sounds more realistic. Yeah. Um, this is like the same thing, but for reverb. So this yeah. is actually going to places with epic reverb. And going. Yeah, and then recording that yeah. and then somehow, you know, recreating that within a pedal. So the and polyverbs is this crazy simple to use, but packed full of real reverbs yeah. from real places in the most epic. I mean, I don't know that. Have we ever heard of a reverb? I mean, I got pretty excited with the with the Strymon Cloudburst, and I, you know, but yeah. that's a different. That's more of a shimmer thing, isn't it? But as a Ooh. reverb, this thing is lunatic. Yeah. There was the uh, there was the Walrus Audio, um, the double one. The uh, slow? No, the slow. There was a double. The slur. slower. 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 So yes. It had two on it, which yeah. has got that sort of thing, but it's not. This is next level. This right? is just next level, and and the whole design of it is next level. I mean, if you watch <laughs> the video we did on the Josh Smith signature pedal, which is you can yeah. watch up here, this is the same design, right? It's very. Similar. This is all touchy watchy. So just to make things super super easy, okay, we've got seven banks of reverbs, all right, and I, it's touch. It's not really a screen, is it? It's like touch plate, I suppose. So you yeah. hit one of these and here they all are. And I'll tell you, they're grouped in a, in a way that makes sense. I'll tell you in the manual. Can you read that? No. Can, uh, yeah, can no, I can. That says that? Pool, pool of the Black Star. <laughs> then essentially you've got eight <laughs> presets per ones of these banks. All right. And then you've got these four Look at that. parameters, which is essentially, they call it onset, but that's like pre-delay, mix, low cut and then smoosh, smoosh, smoosh says, spreads and expands the sound particles to fill the void. He's, he's, I, I love then he's we've so got cool. a very, very simple uh, on off switch here, which actually, if I also hold, will scroll through the presets. Uh, and A, the, this button here is the crescendo effect. So it will like freeze yeah, and like sustain freeze the yeah. reverb. But, so you've got, you've got one here and then eight here, eight presets. Yeah. One and eight it's, presets. Well, Holy and it's more than that, okay? Because I vaguely remember <laughs> here, uh, it's full MIDI as well. Uh -huh. So if you want to be able to recall even more than that, if I remember rightly. Anyway, let's... I love the design of it and the color. 
I love that colour. I think the general color. consensus here is it if you just get over the fact that it's not got knobs on it like a you know traditional pedal and it's just got sliders, it's actually pretty straightforward. You know, it's like that's the mode I want. You know, that's the sound. You know, I want to yeah. amend it so it's like that. That's and it my saves sound. that, I right? Like it. So I, you know, I don't know how it saves it. So that's a back. good question. I'm not sure. I'll have to get into how it saves. That's yeah. a good maybe, question. Maybe you do the, I'm, I'm this, do you hold that? Ah, ah, hold it. So it held, okay, cool. Well, well done. Oh, there you go. So I just literally just held down number one and they saved it. See, intuitive, that's yeah. what I like. So let's read and his marketing easy. blurb here. Blurb. So um, Verbs, which is the name of the pedal, Verbs answers an age old question. Would your guitar sound good in the Pantheon of Rome? or a nuclear reactor hall, a cave, a Neolithic tomb, the London Palladium, or the biggest room in the world, Pete's pedal storage lockup? <laughs> the answer Pete's is mom's, yes. Pete's yes. Mom's, um, uh... Says here, you've got 48 presets <laughs> with different captures to explore. Eight of these can be filled with imported spaces you can capture yourself. So yeah, he, he, there's even yeah. a video that comes in the manual where he tells you how to create your own a I would love to do um, that. IRs. I went to this old um, uh, gan granary down in, near Somerset somewhere. I can't remember. They had this old granary from mm. tw 14, whatever, even whatever. And when you, when you clapped it, it had this delayed reverb mm -hmm. kind of thing. And I thought, immediately I thought, oh, that was when we did the people thing. I think that's thing. what guitar players do that. Because yeah. I was at a... Like, <laughs> and people are looking at me weirdly. Charlotte and I went to a, like a <laughs> stately home uh, oh. somewhere near here. And, it, and they had this two or three hundred year old uh, domed music room. That yes. they, and, and, it, and again, just obviously for acoustic performances. Yeah. It had, um, and it wasn't a massive room, you know, but it was an incredible reverb in there. Anyway, yeah. anyway. Uh, Verbs start, has zero latency on your dry signal and uses analog dry through, so your dry sound is never converted. As well as unique rear spaces, uh, Verbs includes rigorously accurate captures of vintage gear. So, yeah, it's not just rooms. They've actually captured uh, EMT-140 plates, ah! springs, uh, a 480L, not sure what that is, and an oil can unit. Uh, the tone can be tweaked with accurate sliders, providing 4,096 values per slider. Uh, anyway, and all the presets and values can be changed from MIDI. Let's just start hearing it. So, the first bank of uh, reverbs is called Pool of Black Star. Now, the Pool of Black Star is a place. Uh, it's probably best to be honest you to go over to the, pool, the Polyverbs uh, <laughs> website. But we've got within this mode, we've got um, the Pool of Black Star, which is a place in Montreal in Canada. We've got that's presets one and two. Three to five, you're going to have to do this. It's a, some sort of Icelandic pronunciation there. So you go with that one. Twist on Gore sound sculpture. Thank you. Twist on Gore e sidis fjordur in East Iceland. Something like that. Twist Described on here as a um, as a little dog. Uh, a site specific sound sculpture by a German artist. Then we've got inching down oil tanks, the longest reverb in the world, which is a disused underground Royal Navy oil depot in Scotland. Then we've got the Hamilton Mausoleum, the longest echo in the world, according to the Guinness Book of Records. That's number seven. And then we've got the <laughs> Konig Otto. Apologies to any German friends if I've pronounced that wrong, but that's in Berlin. Uh, so let's, let's have a listen. So I'm not even going to play with how he's done the sliders. We're just going to hear them. I mean, it's uh, epic. Yeah. So that's two now. We're running into two. We're oh. running stereo. This is so. It's a bit. Will you want to explain that? You got stereo in, stereo out, or but it doesn't. Do There's a weird. I don't know why. This is again Loki. Maybe you want to um, respond to this. The pedal can do mono in, mono out, mm -hmm. or stereo in, stereo out. It can't do mono in and then stereo convert out. that to stereo. So what we've done is we've gone mono into a guitar pedal, overdrive pedal. Mono into uh, a, a Strymon delay pedal that can do stereo out. So left and right into a TRS jack on the input here, and then TRS jack on the output 
into two guitar amplifiers. Actually, we're going into a loop oh, of first stereo and then stereo out of the loop. <laughs> so yeah, everything is stereo. The amps on their own are, in fact, let's just keep, that's our clean. That's the sound Boring. without. Yeah, Boring. Mm. Uh, so um, here's number two. Number two was what? We're still in uh, Montreal, just a different reverb. I like Montreal. Is this uh, the best reverb I've ever heard, I think? I was just about to say, is it? Probably. Yeah, I say that can, about everything. You can but... hear the volcanoes in the background. In fact, I can just about think I can hear it <laughs> erupting. This is special, man. There's something special about this. I know, like Taylor was just pointing out, they say, wow, that's great a lot. But I only say it when I mean it. Because, and I, you know, it's this a, is just special. Wait till it, with the distort, with the overdrive pedal and that sense of building and, oh, just There's something, anyway. what's the four, number four now? Still in Iceland, but we're in a, what, a different one of the domed. They look like Star huts. Wars. Um, they do. From Tatooine. A sense I of feel, as well. I feel a bit like if we try and do all of these, we're going to be here all, all day. day, but whatever. Here's the uh, longest, I oh know this is the disused, <laughs> no, I can't even talk over it. This is the disused underground oil depot in Scotland. some Bob Dylan and then I forgot what I was going to because I just got so involved in the sound. I'm just gonna say this already Mr. Pete, oh, we haven't ordered <laughs> we haven't ordered enough of these, we're gonna have to order some more but uh, this is the <laughs> the longest echo in the world. That sounds so good. I'm confused Mixed now as well. Beat. Lovely. Are we sure Loki isn't Australian? Because it does say here that Polly's HQ is in Australia. I'm sure he's Australian. I'm sure he was new from New Zealand. See, I told you we can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> He's in one or other. Oh no. <laughs> right, come on. As we've just offended everybody. In down Australia that, and uh, New Zealand. Neck of the woods. All of them. We and the Danish all. people. We and the all. Swedish people. And the, everyone. Probably mainly the French. I mean, you can't you easily can't, offend it. You can't, and you can't not offend everyone. You might as well offend everybody, not one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, well, let's uh, let's do this place in Germany, and then I'm just going to start picking Germany? out randoms. Yeah, this is the Konig Otto. It's an old German expressionism style brewing hall. Mm, there we All are. Right. German beer. Okay, the next uh, bank of presets are all. Uh, places underground by the looks of things. So we've got some caves and we've got an old railway tunnel. Um, and we've got a nuclear reactor in Stockholm in Sweden. This is the okay. R1 nuclear reactor. You're 
Wrestling 3? I'm trying to, yep. Oh, that's a... That's a short one. It's Mordor on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Um, oh, that's New Zealand as well, I'm sorry. Is it a Hobbiton? Uh, this I'm, is I've lost number six. This is the nuclear reactor. Yeah, oh, did you see the Paul Yeah, Davids, yeah, he's playing uh, in... He, he did yeah. actually do a video of reverb in an actual nuclear yeah. reactor, which was kind of cool, wasn't it? So, it obviously, it obviously hits the, 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 the sound hits the walls, and then you got the reverb, listen. I'm sorry, Loki, if, if, if with no, the it's whole fine. thing. It's, I'm, I am I'm, now, I'm, now. I'm thinking about the Australian New Zealand one, and I'm, I'm really going to skip stuff out now. Otherwise, we'll be, I mean, hopefully on <laughs> um, maybe on the Poly website, there's there uh, uh, all of these. But I mean, who wouldn't want to go? So this is the Santa Lucia Basilica in Sicily, oh. Oh. in Italy. Oh, um, prego! Let's have a listen. I could say something really naughty in Italian, but I shouldn't. Angels are singing. Can the we, pizza is and the wine is. Could flowing. we do some stuff yeah, yeah, with them? Yeah, because yeah. um, I love that where you were doing the 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 sweeps. Yeah, and we need to show the crescendo yeah, thing. Right. Which side did you have it on? Yeah, I have the green one on. Uh, yeah, that was the green one. Yeah. Other than uh, this is, you know, a shout out to hello to Rob Chapman. This is the Knights Hall in Valletta in Malta. Perhaps Valletta. Rob, you could pop down there and tell us whether it actually I'll, does I think sound I like this. I see that when I was there. Sounds exactly like it, I've Lunatic, isn't it? I mean, there's St. George's. Wow. I can't do the pronunciation here. S. Epi. Sorry. St. George's Episcopal Church. Is that Episcopal. 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 E. Because it's about churches. You should know. E Honestly, we. E. P. I. S. C. O. P. A. L. S. Episcopal. Episcopal. Epis. Episcopal. Anyway, wow, it's that we're just offending I, I'm, everybody. No, I'm not. I just, I know in my head, I'm like, I, I know Episcopal. I've heard the word. What Episcopal. Is Episcopal. <laughs> Episcopal. <laughs> it's definitely not that. <laughs> it's that. Anyway, it's this church in, uh, in Fredericksburg in the USA. So what I like about 
there's different kinds of reverb here. Some, you get that real heavy reflection off the wall that yes. sort of bounces it's back like, Almost you, like, like a delay. Yeah, whereas yeah. this is just, sounds like a, it doesn't have that. It's just that very natural, but, and, and not massive. It's sort of. Man, I really like your guitar, Lee. I'm really <laughs> into this guitar. I'm restrung it and everything. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so yeah. this, next, um, <laughs> this next bank of sounds are actual um, uh, captures of, of uh, echo and reverb devices. Echo plates. Oh, shit. I touched yeah. the, sorry. That's all right. Sorry. So, you, so your first one now, this is an EMT 140 plate okay. made in 1957. Yeah. Oh, we, we love the EMT. That's great. We use okay. it on... Um, Do you want clean or dirty? No, just clean. This is the same device, but a different capture of it, I guess. Oh, he's gonna loop something. Let's just keep going. We're, we're about halfway through, aren't we? We'll just have to just crack on, right? Uh, let's do now. The, so the 480L uh, is a Lexicon reverb. Yeah, that's I'm sure a Lexicon. Lots of you probably knew two, that. 480, and that. then there's a, the half one. There's a two, um, 240, right? Yeah, they're beautiful as well. Pretty clean, isn't it? That reverb. Yeah. on the internet you can go to sort of share your captures of reverbs. There but must be some there amazing must, places in the world that you can kind of go there and There must just... be the same as sharing your IRs for your amplifiers. There must be the same... Oh my gosh, I've just seen uh, John Mayer's favourite reverb that he uses live, the Brycasti M7 that he uses with his Stuart. Oh, Do you remember that? Rack unit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this. But that's not, that's not that, because I think that's a not? spring. But, but yeah. Before we get lost <laughs> in the world of John Mayer, this next bank, uh, and again, just I am skipping out 
a few now. So this next bank is classed as analog devices. So we're going to see uh, real Fender Brownface reverb tanks. We're going to see Ooh. AKG spring reverb devices. We're going to see, this is where we see the oil can delay. There's let's even have, a, some, let's have some spring. Okay, let's, well, that's number one. That sounds great yeah. as well, man. Because uh, that's it... such a difficult one to get right. As I always say. As I always say. But this isn't. <laughs> this isn't. Um, this isn't a digital emulation. No, it's this a, is this a is capture. A, this, is, yeah. this is a. This is an. This is essentially an impulse response. This is of like a, a reverb. Kemper profile. Is it convolution? Convoluted Con -con convalescence home. Hmm? Right, number five Sorry. is the Adeneco. Adeneco uh, oil Adeneco. can delay. Okay. Super analog -y Nice and dark. Of... I don't know how I mean, it actually is. I mean, this, this last this. one they're saying is now a Roland RE201 Space Echo. RE201. There it is. Kind of feels like you've got the 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 presets are all heavily mixed, aren't they? Yeah, because they? because you have to Just get that, fun, it, isn't it? Right, I'm just quickly so. This top right one here, irregular verbs, don't know what we're going to get here because what uh, Loki has done is just captured weird things like he's captured the sound in the rain or the sound with bubbles coming out of a... In Australia. Not yeah, New never rains in Australia. <laughs> uh, the sound God. of a metal bathtub, just some weird stuff oh, right. just to see what... So let's see, let's see what does it sound like in the rain? Well, so he's so it's been raining down, and then you go out, and then you capture the rain. I'm genuinely not sure. <laughs> this is again. I think this is essentially what he's done, is he's just obviously captured the sound in the proximity of something. So this is going to be a spinning coin. So obviously it's not the sound of the spinning coin, it's the way it yeah, has it disrupted the, the kind of air around the spinning yeah. coin. Same as in the rain, but... This is one of those wow. slinkies that goes down the stairs. I don't know how he's how you capture that, but that's what it is. So. Oh. 
So again, lots of weird ones there. My, the final one is probably the best one because it means that we get to pretend that we've played in some amazing places that Pete will probably just go, I have played there, I have played there. So Shepherd's Bush Empire, yeah. uh, RCA <laughs> Studio B in Nashville. No, no. Um, London Palladium. Mm -hmm. Didn't you do that with uh, the two Ronnies once back in the 1970s? <laughs> uh, and then uh, the Ostia Antique Theatre. It's like a big outdoor theatre in Rome. I haven't done that. Anyway, so let's see. Shepherd's Bush Empire. What would we sound like if we got the re... Tell you what, there's a little anecdote. When you, if when you do a gigs, so I've done the gigs in, in like arenas mm -hmm. and and stuff like places like that and outdoors. If you play, if you get the chance to play with your amps on stage, just you playing the guitar, no in ears, and standing out the front of the stage, and just play. Let if they mm -hmm. let you play, that reverb like in the O2 or something, mm -hmm. it's just absolutely incredible. I could do that for. Hours. They're always, it's very much like this. They're always my some of my favourite yeah, like, Instagram <sighs> clips is where you get artists at sound check yeah. where the whole venue's empty and the artist just goes, just, and just, it's like, just yes, noodling. man. Yeah, just do a little. Um, that, I mean. Who did you? And you know um, what? It feels so who, good. Who did you play with in uh, Shepherd's Bush Empire? Uh, uh, probably God is Allowed or something. Going out, they're out on tour again. They are. <laughs> Let's do London <laughs> Palladium with. Uh, I played there with uh, Robin Gibb, the last no. gig he ever played with the soldiers. Michael McIntyre, London Palladium. Yeah, yeah. No, I did Robin Gibb, not on with the soldiers, London Palladium, and Robin Gibb. Here it is. I know your eyes in the I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, that's right, because the theatres are, because of all the, the chairs, which are all really velvety chairs, mm -hmm. and there's, there's not much reverb, and it's quite... It's mainly it, Barry it, Gibbs' it, beard soaked it, it all up, and it's... But no, it's it, Robin, reflect, it's Robin Gibbs, it reflects off his teeth, It was Robin. really interesting. <laughs> that's, that's really right, that, because it pings out and comes straight back, and the stage are like this, you know, on the theatres. Did you know okay, that? You know, like, like I'm going to do a challenge. I'm going to challenge Pete. I'm going to ask. <laughs> I'm going to ask Loki to send me IRs from every venue you've ever played, <laughs> and you've got to tell me <laughs> just guess from the reverb where was this? Yeah. Uh, like that's it. Look, one more. We'll just do the final number eight of the final bank, which is this big amphitheatre in Rome, by the looks. It's probably the most underwhelming one of the whole lot, isn't it? Let's not end on that one. Yeah, that's you, a bit. Well, I suppose outside reverb, an outdoor amphitheater wouldn't have outside just much goes reverb, would it? Punts it right in the air and it stops yeah. right there with any amps. It's so weird. Okay, well look, I think that's it's amazing, man. It is amazing. Straight in on gear, top five or top top five ten or Rob five. Rob Chapman's new video that he's no, doing <laughs> next week. Hour of the gear top five we've reverbs done, of the year. Of, you know, this is cloudburst. When we did the cloudburst, how that went. This is this is next level. Uh, this is just next level. It's epic level immersive reverb. Uh, the anyway, look. So polyverb. Uh, I'm. I don't know what the stock situation will be. I know that Andersons is expecting its first delivery in December 2023, but we didn't order tons. Should have done in in retrospect. So I suspect these. You know, we'll get some more in January as well. They're three ninety nine. Um, links all below. The way Check from the links below. Potentially either New Zealand <laughs> or Australia. I think Australia. Um, I think you're right, Australia. I'm really sorry, Loki, man. I, you know, and I'm the one who has got friends both places, and they annoy. I, they get annoyed by me when I tell them when I say you're well, from Australia, because I still can't taste the difference. And they, it's true. Well, honestly, if it makes you feel any better, I can't tell whether you're from Denmark, Holland, anywhere else in Scandinavia, or. But he's, he's not, he's not, he's not, if he was like Australian Loki, I would understand, I would get where he was from, like Danish Peak. Well, Every saying that most people ask me where I'm from, even though they call me Danish Jam Peak, out. where are you from? Check it out. Links are below. Uh, Anderson's does worldwide shipping on, on pedals and stuff like that. So if you can't find one from a more local dealer, you can certainly get one from here. It's absolutely incredible.
Wowzers. Incredible. Yes. Polly Is this coming out before Christmas? Maybe it's over Christmas. I don't know. Happy Christmas. It's coming out tomorrow. Whatever. Actually, yeah. it's coming okay. out yesterday. That's how quick we are at editing stuff here. Love you very much. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>